Welcome everyone. We're going to be continuing on with our basic Japanese lessons and we're going to be finishing off our adjectives today. So we're going to be looking at our ways to make negative adjectives, past form of adjectives and similar. If you check out the YouTube description box, I've got a link to this Google Doc. I would recommend you open that up to follow along with the lesson. I'm currently creating a series on basic Japanese. You can watch the whole playlist on my channel here. I've also got an ad up on Gumtree, so if you find these lessons helpful and you'd like to have some face-to-face -face lessons, please contact me through that ad and we can uh, get started on some lessons. So we're going to be looking at how to make the past form, the negative form, and the negative past form of our E adjectives today. Now, I've already discussed the difference between E adjectives and NA adjectives in a previous video, so I'd really recommend you watch that one first if you're unsure of what this terminology is. But today we're just going to be looking at e adjective changes. So here's a bit of a summary of what they look like. So we're using the word oishi, which means delicious. We can see at the top we have the present tense, then a bit further down we have negative, and then past, and then past negative. And we're going to look at how we make these changes. But we basically end up with oishi, and then oish kunai for not delicious, oish katta for was delicious and oishiku nakatta for wasn't delicious. So when we look at those examples, we might notice that the negative past tense rule is the same as the past tense rule. We kind of combine the two rules. So how do we do the negative rule? Well, we always, when we're dealing with e adjectives, we're focusing on the e. So we remove that last e from the e adjective, and then we attach kunai. All right, now using a word here, which is takai, Okay, this means tall or expensive. So we drop that e from the end and then add kunai. So we would read this as takakunai. Takakunai. And then for the past tense, we again remove the last e and then we replace katta. So <clears throat> takakatta. So this is was expensive. Now, if we want to do the negative past of this, well, we first make the negative, so we go takakunai for our negative, and then we replace that last e of takakunai with katta, so takaku nakatta. So here are all these changes in a table form. So we see we have takai, takakunai, takakatta, takaku nakatta. And we can do this with any e adjective we wish. So let's do this with a different example, and we we'll use oishi, the one we had at the beginning. So going from top left to top right to bottom left to bottom right, we would have oishi, oishikunai, oishikatta, oishikunakatta. So one thing that we notice when we make these changes is that <clears throat> because we're actually removing the e from the word and then replacing it, we're actually going to hear there's a, a bit of a pronunciation change. The actual sound of the word is different. So we can even hear this with our first example. So here we go, takai. Takakunai. Takai, takakunai. We hear that the word sounds slightly different. All right, we're not saying takai kunai. All right, that middle E sound is, is, is just gone, right? Because we've dropped the E. Now think about another word that we could use. For example, omoshiroi. Omoshiroi, all right? This word means interesting. So let's do all the rules of this one. So we have omoshiroi. Omoshirokunai. Moshirokatta. So again, we hear that the word itself is changing because we've dropped the e. Omoshiroi, omoshirokunai. All right. A lot of people, when they're um, learning this rule for the first time, they'll often say omoshiroi kunai, but we can't say this. All right. That middle e sound has been dropped. Omoshirokunai, omoshirokunai. All right. One last example. We got this word tanoshi. Tanoshi. Okay, this means fun or enjoyable. So we have tanoshi for our positive form. Tanoshikunai. Tanoshikatta. Tanoshiku nakatta. Okay, that about wraps it up for our e adjectives. So we're going to be continuing on with looking at our different conjugation forms for na adjectives and nouns in our next video. Thanks so much for watching. Please uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks again.